I'm going to show you how you can enable remote desktop on all servers connected to an Active Directory domain using group policy. So if we come to our system properties and then under the remote tab, by default on a Windows server, remote desktop is disabled and it's set to don't allow remote connections to this computer. Now what we can do is we can either manually select allow remote connections to this computer or we can create a group policy to enable this and also to create the inbound firewall rules required to connect using remote desktop. So if we come over to a domain controller and then open up group policy management. Under group policy objects, we can right click and select new and then create a new group policy object. And I'm going to call this enable remote desktop and then press OK. And then now we've got our group policy object, we can right click and then press edit. And then under computer configuration, we can come to policies and then administrative templates and then Windows settings, and then under remote desktop, we can come to remote desktop session host, and then to connections, and then we can enable the allow users to connect remotely using remote desktop services. We can double click that and select enabled. So that will enable remote desktop services on anything that this GPO is applied to. And then under security, we can also enable require user authentication for remote connections using network level authentication. So we can enable that. This setting is also enabled by default, and I'd recommend that you enable this unless you know otherwise that you have to have this disabled. However, I would recommend you just enable this anyway. So once we've got those two settings enabled, what we then need to do is set some inbound firewall rules. So under computer configuration and then policies, we can go to Windows settings and then security settings, and then Windows Defender Firewall, and then Windows Defender Firewall again, and then select Inbound Rules. We can then right click and select New Rule. Then if we select Predefined, we can click the drop down and then scroll down and find Remote Desktop. And then we can press Next. And then as we've selected the predefined rules for Remote Desktop, it's automatically filled in all of the required rules to enable Remote Desktop to work and it's locked it down to the remote desktop application and it's already got the correct port that we require. So we can then press next and then we can select allow the connection and then press finish to add the rules to our group policy. And now our group policy is all set up. The last thing we need to do is take our enable remote desktop GPO and then apply it to our servers organizational units. So for mine, all of my servers are housed within a servers OU. So I can take my enable remote desktop and then drag it over the servers and then press yes to link it to that OU. So now if I select servers, we can see that we've got enable remote desktop linked. So if I come back over to one of my servers and then back under the system properties, we can see that this is still disabled. But if I open up a command prompt and then just force a refresh, in a production environment, you wouldn't do a GP update. You would just let this filter down automatically. It may take a couple of hours, but you would just let it do it automatically. I'm just forcing it through so it updates quicker for this demo. So now that's updated, if we come back to the system properties and then press remote, we can see that allow remote connection to this computer is ticked and we are unable to change it because it's set by group policy and also the allow connections only using network level authentication. That's also ticked and can't be changed as it is set using group policy. The last thing we want to check is if we come to our Windows Firewall and then under Inbound Rules, we just want to make sure that our Remote Desktop Inbound Rules are set so we can see that we've got Remote Desktop User In, port 3389, and that is set to Enabled, and it's got the green tick, so that means there won't be any firewall issues for connecting with Remote Desktop from the local network. So if I come back to a remote machine, so I'll just move back over to my domain controller. And then if I open up the remote desktop connection, I should now be able to connect to this server using remote desktop. Now it's asking me for a username and password. So the connection is indeed working. So if I put a password in now, it should be connect me to that initial server using remote desktop. And there we go. It's connected to me to the remote desktop session on Windows Server 2022. And we can see we are still all connected through my initial remote desktop session. So I can just close the window. 
And there we go, we can see that remote desktop has been enabled using group policy. So that's how to use group policy to enable remote desktop, as well as push the required inbound firewall rules that is needed to connect to a machine using remote desktop.